says, Brando, are you excited for the XFL style kickoffs? I really am. And I hope the choices John made with Chenault and keeping D for the moment work. I really am too as well, Garth. Uh, we The special teams is a component. The NFL has been limited and limited and limited throughout the last 10, 15 years on a couple of different bases. You've seen from a punting standpoint that punters have gotten better, better all the way around. They can kick longer. They can kick higher. They can positionally kick better. And it, it's even it's even harder, it seems like, now than ever before to even just block a punt. It almost seems just about impossible to pull that off, much less the return game of punting. And then along with that, what's been done with the kicking game, no wedge blocking, right? You're going to kick from up here now. Oh, you can fair catch it now. Oh, you get at the 25-yard line now. All of these things built to basically eliminate the kickoff. And now we're going to get it completely turned around and re-brought back into the game fully. And yes, I am totally excited for it, Garth, not just simply for the fact that it returns kickoffs to the game and the game's better for that, but also because it brings in the return of kickoffs with creativity. Creativity really wasn't there even in the heyday of kickoffs, where it essentially was, okay, get a pile of your guys down here, have them hold hands, and then have them just run at the defenders running at them and then have everybody collide. It was not well thought out. It was not deeply thought out. But now you've got things where you're going to be able to, to me, Garth, pull guys back across the formation after the kick. You're going to be able to do a lot more, I think, of like, kind of like you do a, a reverse back in the day in football, you know, where you might have one kick returner going this way, the other one goes that way, and sometimes maybe he can flip it to him, and, and you can set the blocking off of that. So there's so much more creative creativity, I think, that can be employed, which will make it more exciting and funner to watch. We never want to have automatic plays in football. And that's what the kickoff has become. That's what the punting is sometimes at times kind of become a bit. You don't want just nothing burgers. And uh, this is why they, for instance, move back the PATs 15 yards. Make it matter. Make it count. Make it something they've got to earn. Don't just give it to them. So I'd love it. And when it comes to John, I think that he is being a bit of a forerunner on this, Garth, when it comes to Chenault and Eskridge. Be very easy at this point to just cut bait with Eskridge where you just say, you know what, we're going to put Dariq Young and Bobo back there or whatever. Or we're going to put Dariq Young and Charbonnet back there. But instead, they're really trying to find two guys that should dynamically work within these new rules. Two guys that, that really can bust some big plays out for you, uh, you know, with the system. So I think that John's made some smart choices here to try to get ahead of this and be at the forefront of this rather than reactionary to it. It may not work, but you know the, the driver here, Garth, is, is to try to be at the forefront of it. And that's what you want this, just like I say with the coaching staff and taking advantage of all the reasonable advantages that are there on the table to take advantage of. I just want you doing all you can that is in your grasp to make, to make the team better. It's not going to cost you substantially more if it's just you being due diligent about making this a point of emphasis and that that's not really taking a lot from your team building in other ways. Do it. You know, if you as a coaching staff can help your players out without risking things necessarily in the way that you're helping them, do it. And that's what, to me, the Chenault and the Eskridge move does, is it gives them the flexibility is if this thing can take off this year, if there is a little bit of the, the ground beneath us is a bit uncertain on kickoffs now, and it's a bit of like the Wild West, Garth, in the NFL circles now, and that we're seeing big plays all over the place, and we're seeing things just kind of wild with it, and that we get to maybe be able to take advantage of that. I, I love it. The unit's going to be better for it. And part of us getting to a contending team this year, as I put on my points for the Seattle Seahawks, I think last week was you have a special teams unit that's truly special, that's elite. And one way to have that elite is you got the great punter, you got the kicker who's on a Dr. Jekyll year rather than Mr. Hyde. And then you're getting the, the, the kickoff units that uh, can um, be separators there as well.